I do thank you um, for joining us again today. Um, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. So uh, how about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I do know that you have a lot of great things going on. So um, first I want to start off with talking about your current album, All Is Well. <clears throat> um, yeah. Can you tell me um, how you came up with the name for the album? Well, All Is Well is amazing. Um, it came about because, you know, normally when <clears throat> somebody asks me, you know, how you doing, or if I ask somebody how you doing, I mean, we say this all the time, it's all, all is well, you know, and I just hit me one day and said, you know, with all the things that's going on <clears throat> in the world, you know, we got to speak life in the situation, and God just gave me the, 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 the song and the title, you know, all in the same, at the same time while I was on an airplane, you know, getting ready to fly back home from somewhere, and, uh, I said, man, and I, you know, so all as well basically just was, was something God put in my spirit to really put into the atmosphere, you know, just for, just for the, for the kingdom. All right. Um, so how would you um, describe the particular feel for your album? This album <clears throat> is very, um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it puts me in a lane kind of where I've been, you know, since my heart says yes, which was my previous album, where this album is very diverse in that, I mean, it's, it's a worship album, it's a praise album, it's a contemporary album, it's a mainstream album that, that, that tells a story, you know, I got songs on there like, of course, the title cut, All Is Well, and then my follow-up single <clears throat> was a song entitled Lay It Down, you know, and it was, it was basically a spinoff, you know, from the concept of back in the old school, and they used to say, Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down. But I just kind of put a little, brought into the new millennium, you know, all of your problems, all of your pains, lay it down, lay it down, you know. It's kind of like a sing-along kind of thing that really um, has been uh, a blessing. The song made it up into the top ten. And then, of course, my most recent single, I Know You Hear Me, talks about the, the person who basically been just, you know, crying out to God and, and, and really trying to... Um, you know, um, get God's attention and seem like God is not listening. And, you know, you basically just saying, I know you hear me. I know you hear me when I pray, even though I can't see it and feel it all the time. I, you hear me. So it's one of those, one of those records that really tells a story. And it, it's really kind of blesses me first because I've been all of those things. You know, a lot of times people think because you sit on certain platforms or you sit <clears throat> or they hear you on the radio or they see you on TV that you don't have issues, don't have struggles. So I've been, I, this is a very transparent record because it, it, it had to kind of come from my heart, you know? Right. So, um, so, so even when talking about the album, so um, it sounds like it's had a, um, a, a very great impact on your life. So how's the journey been so far um, um, since the album has been out? The journey has, journey, the journey has been amazing. I mean, it's been, it's been received very well. Um, I've been able to really, um, uh, continue to establish myself, you know, this with my as you do. You know, on a path to your destiny. And, you know, I have a <clears throat> I've found a place <clears throat> in the industry where I'm enjoy sitting because like right now it's so much music and so many choices now to a lot of times stuff start to kind of overlap each other and start to sound alike or whatever but one thing I like about this record is it has given me a uniqueness unto myself and um, has grown my audience and and, and, that, and although you know I know this is, is, is ministry and whatnot but it's definitely had put me in a place where I'm, I'm really enjoying just kind of you know being myself and, and really uh, trying to be a blessing to people and, and the, the, re the reception has been phenomenal you know not only in radio but just you know I've you know, the tours that I do and everything. Right. Right. So I know that um, you're currently in the middle of a new tour. Um, can you share with with me, um, talk about a little bit about the tour and, and what's been going on with it? Yeah. Um, Alvin Darling and myself. Alvin is one of the artists that's on my label. My wife and I own Emperor Gospel Label. Uh, excuse me, Intro Gospel Records, and uh, I'm an artist as well as a record executive, you know, and producer. Da 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 da. So it gives me a uniqueness in that I'm able to do a lot of different things, creative things, and you know, uh, Alvin Darling and myself, 
you know, we've done this before, but usually this time of year, we just kind of go out on tour. And what we do, it's not your typical tour. You go and you're on a tour bus and you travel around the country. We tour from Thursday through Sunday, you know, every weekend for the most part in another market. And we go to those places, you know, a lot of times a lot of the major artists won't go, you know, because it might not be a major city or whatever, but there are people there and there are people who need to be blessed and the whole nine. So we're kind of going in what I call the secondary markets and really just going in, mm -hmm. you know, and just trying to really be a blessing to the people. And it's been so successful in that people come out and it's almost like they're hungry for a good word through song and and then just so encouraging and those persons are your fans for life and it's just giving us a great presence you know um in terms of just continue to um you know get this message out there and so you know it's 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 and then too it's less stressful you know we just really uh and then we, we include local artists you know from a lot of the markets as well as you know some of the places i'm doing workshops and whatnot because one of the things that's real dear to my heart is the music industry, meaning that mm -hmm. understanding how this whole machine works so that you can be effective and be able to, you know, uh, make a living, you know, be able to take care of your family. I, I think that if we're out here laboring and, and, and doing it, it shouldn't be just the secular guys who are able to live and, and, and you know, and they have this as their job. But there's a way you have to do it, you know what I mean? You, you know, you got to understand this industry versus ministry. And so one of the things that I always try to, because, you know, we know how to, we got to speaking in tongue, we got, you know, we know about the anointing and all that, but then the business side, we just, you know, we're just not up on a, on point on a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it makes a difference when you can really get educated. So I'm a real, you know, I used to, I was a school teacher by trade, so I love teaching and educating okay. people. So um, that's kind of been incorporated into my ministry. That's awesome. So right now, um, where is your next stop for the tour? Um, my next stop <clears throat> is actually going to be, and my wife just did it, we're going to be in Phoenix, Arizona uh, coming up uh, in, I want to say, April the 20th, somewhere in that weekend. Um, we're going to be in Phoenix, Arizona, and from Phoenix go to Dallas and then Plano, Texas. Okay. So all you know, so it's it's pretty it's, it's all popping you know you know around, and then I'm going to update my um, <clears throat> tour dates as they continue to because they come in every week on TroySneed.net, or they can follow me on Twitter and you know and 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 and, and, and just so y'all know, I'm old school, so <clears throat> and I found out Israel was, was the same way. I'm getting just getting caught up to Twitter and all that kind of knowing how to tweet and all you know everybody I look at different tweets and look at Facebook. Some people just tweet and Facebook everything. You know, I'm walking to the store, uh, you know, it's raining outside, you know, uh -huh. and, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm learning how to be, so I can just kind of continue to connect with people like that. So follow me on Twitter at Troy Sneed and y'all get a chance to kind of keep up with my tour dates and all that kind of stuff. All right. All right. Well, um, Troy, um, I do thank you for this uh, opportunity to do an interview with you and wish you many blessings on the tour and your album. Thank you so much. And again, appreciate all the support and love um, and uh, definitely keep you guys in prayer. And thank you guys for checking me out. And uh, we'll definitely be talking real soon. All right. Thank you. God bless. God bless.